hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the purest of white light lights okay whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you it is returned to you all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled being dismantled as we speak as i have said so shall it be judgment is final so let's go ahead and get our angel number for the night, we have 99, which is 18, and another 9, completion. Okay, it is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. I am courageous. Okay, there you have it, folks. The source has spoken. You know what it is now. You know what your purpose is. If you don't know, please take some time and invest in yourself so that no one can come in and cloud your judgment about what your purpose is. This is how you have idiots and clowns coming into your life telling you you're going the wrong direction, causing illusions. But the whole time, you know, they don't know where they're going. They're competing with you for your destiny. So take time and do some introspection so the enemy cannot steal your destiny from you or cannot even attempt to steal your destiny as this is what a lot of them do because they're not able to manifest anything for themselves let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source energy is going on here in this tarot reading today that's why we are here we have the page of cups Followed by the King of Swords, someone is receive, receiving a message or clarity about a situation that may have to do with you collective or about a situation that they may have partaken in. They're now having clarity that maybe they took the wrong route, partner up with the wrong person, or they know the road that lies ahead of them is not quite cute. It's not going to be a good one. Yeah, someone has to be vigilant now. Someone may be uh, having sorrows, disappointment coming their way. Someone may be going through some type of financial loss because of something they invested in, maybe stalking you. But someone has knowledge now of what was taking place, what they participated in, who they partner up with, the King of Cups. Yeah, someone partner up with the King of Cups to do something to you. Someone thought they were going to be successful. And honey, we're about to find out, okay? There's a King of Cups out here that is hoping to have some type of brand new start, fresh start. He may be wanting either to return to the past or this is someone that is choosing to do the right thing after causing a lot of illusions about you. So this could be someone you are familiar with. This could be like a baby's father. This could be a, a, a ex-husband, ex-lover, whatever this is. Or this is just someone from your past that you may have worked with, something of that nature. This person is going through some type of loss. People may be separating themselves from this person because they're realizing, yeah, someone is going through some type of loss because of the direction they took in life. They may have been causing a lot of illusions through manipulations about you. And people are finding this truth out. Someone got a lot of people to work with them through manipulation, lying on you, telling people that you were mentally unstable. But people are finding out that you're quite stable indeed. This is the person that's actually unstable. This is someone impulsive. Someone may be having feelings for you now, but it is not reciprocated. Someone who have been working with an empress energy behind the scenes, collaborated with other folks. This was all based on a lie so that you would not receive something that was meant for you, possibly a ten of pentacles. But your victory is ensured. This is what's coming for you. So just be vigilant and stay alert. This man trapped himself with these people in this group. Cannot get out. Will not be getting out. There's consequences. There may be a king of wands in here. I just saw when I split the deck. 
will be going through some type of realization as well okay she was coming out in the reverse i'm just putting her in the upright but we already know the story always comes out like it's supposed to this woman was hoping to have some type of brand new passionate beginning but it is not happening someone is actually losing everything so coming up against you this would be someone that was pretending to be you or told people that you were a fraud you were not genuine you were not the truth um, but people are seeing the truth that you really are genuine. You don't have any toxic ways. Someone told people that you were toxic, but you're showing up here as someone that's not toxic. You don't have any toxic ways to you. You are genuine. You are pure. You're you. You're someone that is very much uh, strong. You have a lot of ten tenacity to yourself. You're free to be you. Um, you're a little bit more open-minded than she is. Um, so someone is having a whole lot of hard time adjusting because you're showing up in this energy constantly. Okay. You may have a masculine that wants to come into your energy, but it's afraid because you're going to see right through them and you know what this person partook in. So now that the truth is out and they know that you know the truth, they may want to separate themselves from this group and come and connect with you. You're going to have to let your ancestors and the source decide if that is an adequate move for you to make because someone had a hand in blocking your fruitfulness, your abundance. They may be coming in to bluff you, gaslight you, okay? Just to cause you another stagnation because they know that you are not trapped. You are free to go while they're going through issues and things like that. Someone may be seeing you as someone extremely genuine and wants to extend a friendship to you. But someone knows that you are going to be checking them up, up, checking them out, up and down, eyeing them like, mm, I don't know about you. You know how you look people up and down and say, mm, interesting. Yeah. But someone is about to lose a lot or they're losing a lot. Someone may have lost a home, lost a business. Yeah, people are going through endings. We have been warning these karmic groups and people, places and things, but they have not been listening to us, not us. Now they are burdened about how the story is playing out. If they would have just listened to us, all of this would have been avoided. We told them, hey, don't take that route. You don't want to take that route. It's not going to be fruitful for you. It looks promising, but it's not. Please walk away. This abundance is not yours. It belongs to someone else, and you're still determined to steal it. You cannot have it. I'm tell you, telling you, see how this card just fell out. Whoever is meant to have this abundance, they're going to have it. Someone has a very high regards hold for you. They hold you in very high regards. So whatever someone was planning for you, honey, it's not going to be coming into fruition. It's a no-go for your ancestors. It's a no-go for spirit. They don't have time to play with this girl, this boy, whatever they say. I said 10 of pentacles. Here goes the 10 of pentacles coming out collective. Someone does not want you to have this 10 of pentacles. They're upset because you're still receiving it, which means that you are putting an end to this chapter. There's an emperor in here. Maybe you're working with this emperor. Um, you're still going to be receiving your 10 of pentacles. Someone thought if they pretended to be you long enough or if they smear your character well enough or bad enough, excuse me, that they will be giving your 10 of pentacles. They will be able to steal it. This 10 of pentacles has to do with a union, a divine union. This masculine is not interested in this woman. He sees her as very impulsive and, impulsive and very loose. Someone very lustful, okay? And she may have told people that you were this divine intervention. Your ancestors stepped in, the universe stepped in to intervene on your behalf. And someone has made a decision to choose love, but it's not her, okay? It was never meant to be her. Someone may be even repulsed, disgusted by this woman and trying to keep his distance. I'm telling you, keeping his distance from her. Someone may be having a hard time self-actualizing this is what they were meant to do this king of source out here he was supposed to self-actualize and he thought he was going to come in and uh, cloud your judgment with betrayal but you know the truth so the person can this person cannot mislead you they cannot manipulate you you see everybody in here for who they are okay these people were absolutely committed to blocking this ten of pentacles from coming in this is a business partnership possibly a love partnership okay and they didn't want this coming into fruition but no one can override the judgment of the most high no one can override destiny so in due time in divine timing you and this person will be connecting to manifest whatever reality this is you're supposed to be manifesting and it's coming in pretty quickly 
you could have someone that's actually choosing to i don't know do the right thing or something like that whatever it is it's going to take a little bit of time because someone refuses to self-actualize and actually it may not be this king of swords it could be a a, 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 a an emperor or a king of wands whoever this is supposed to be someone is more than likely going through some type of they're supposed to be going through some type of healing, but they're having a hard time going through that. I say healing and the stars showed up. Someone may have been planning to come in to give you some type of uh, pocket change offer. And they were coming in quickly, but something happened and their action was halted. So they're not able to come in anymore because you see right through them, honey. You're putting an end to this karmic cycle because you know exactly what these people are doing, what they're planning. This this plan, this effort to come in and give you something is a breadcrumbing offer. Um, they're stealing your actual blessing or this is what they're wanting to do, block the actual blessing. You know, this is like, let's say you are supposed to go out into the world, have a new life, right? Be abundant. You know, see here, step out on faith, fresh start, all right? Standing your ground, achieving your hopes and dreams, things of that nature, 10 of pentacles for you because of all the efforts you put in. But then someone decides to come in and give you some type of okay offer so that they can kind of hinder your forward movement and you're stuck in your mind. Oh, I don't think I should go. You know, this is a really good offer they're giving me here. Meanwhile, you have a whole 10 of pentacles when you step out of that mother effing B-I-T-C-H. Okay, so we are going to need you to stick to your path, whatever it is. These people are fighting amongst themselves because you know the truth about what's going on. They cannot hide anymore. They want to hide. Some of these people want to stay inside, not come outside. They're too ashamed to show their faces, right? But they know that you are taking a new path. They cannot block this path. People don't know how it is you're able to manifest these new beginnings these new blessings these new abundance for yourself but you're pure that's why they'll never understand that these people in here are very superficial all they care about is money but they have a hard time manifesting money because their hearts are not pure they're wicked these are wicked people and all they know how to do is steal that's all this is the only way they can get what it is they want in life is by stealing and this is something a woman in here does. This is what she's determined to do. She's determined to steal. This is what she's planning. But she's going through some type of ending. She's going to have to put an end to her plans because her health may not be doing well. Right? Planning to come in. Gas, light, and a queen of cups. There's a queen of cups in here as well you need to be mindful of. Right? God, please. She's trying to come in to give you an offer now. It's a breadcrumbing offer. You don't want anything from this woman. Whether you're a masculine, a feminine energy, you don't want nothing from her. You see her for exactly who she is. She's going to be losing quite a lot, and she knows she stands to lose a lot. This is what she wanted to happen to you, but that's what's coming for her. She may be paying someone behind the scenes to cause you some type of ending. It's not going to work. This woman is going through her ending herself, okay? You, if you're a queen of cups collective, you should need to rest assured. A lot of this, the energies in here is what you are uh, um, embodying, right? Because you're taking on all of this energy per the situation so that you can stand your ground, make sure things are going accordingly. You've learned some type of lesson that is absolutely impossible to be taken away from you. The knowledge is already in you. This is like, let's say you've already had a, I've said this before, you've had a child and someone wants to put the child back in your belly, that is equivalent to what these people are wanting to happen to you. They want you to go back to sleep. You know why? Because when you were asleep, it was a lot easier for them to take advantage of you. It was a lot easier for them to steal from you. It was a lot easier for them to manipulate you or people around you. But now you are awakened and you see the monsters behind the mask that these people have on and it just isn't pretty. And they just feel embarrassed and insecure. They're bothered by the fact that you see the truth about them. And you know that they're nothing but thieves. Common thieves. That's all they'll ever be. So they're bothered by this. They want you to go back to sleep. But honey, how do you go back to sleep after that? As a matter of fact, you're probably even hesitant to even close your eyes. Because you know the energies that are just lurking around you. Right? You don't want to close your eyes. You know too much. You know too much. Okay, so whatever it is, these people are planning again. You know, these 
these dark workers, they always have some type of ritual that's going on. They're always having some type of meeting, right? The meeting is never going accordingly. This group is meeting, absolutely meeting about you. There's some type of investigation going on here, internal investigation. Something was exposed that led to an internal investigation. Someone in here, your ex, I don't know if you had a child by this person or you dated this person or going through some type of sorrow. This card was about to flip in my hand. So I'm putting it out in the reverse. They're disappointed that you are healed and you see the truth about this bread coming offer that they're coming in with, right? Someone may be making efforts to, I don't know, mend things with you, but I don't know if you care about mending things with this person because you know exactly what they partook in, right? Someone, I don't know if there's like a king of wands behind the scenes that wants to come into someone's energy because the truth has been illuminated to him about what his friends and family did and what he partook in. Someone stood by and watched people do something to you and they could have helped, but they chose not to. Now their karma is knocking on the door someone is feeling miserable and this is judgment okay your pathway is clear the truth is being exposed it took a long time but but collective everything happens in divine timing it is what it is things are being balanced out right exactly i said manifestation things are being balanced out okay things are absolutely being balanced out someone may be heartbroken or uh, because all because they may have paid someone in the past to interfere with your wish fulfillment to make sure you didn't get something that was meant for you that you didn't have stability to temper with your stability however these people now are are realizing that you're not heartbroken you're you you're busy manifesting a new beginning for yourself you're busy enjoying your life you're busy living in comfort you're just busy being you you're not worried about what's going on with these people. You already know it, but it's none of your business. That's how you see it. You say, that's none of my business. You know, whatever they want to do, whatever's going on with them is well-deserved. They dug a grave for themselves thinking they were digging it for you. Hey, it is what it is. Somebody got to lay in the grave, but it ain't you, Collective. It is not you. These people play with their own destinies and lives. What happened to us focusing on ourselves? You'll be surprised that a lot of the people in this group are much older than you. Some of them have their children, cousins, and family members stalking you, following you around. I'm telling you, these are people that should be mature, but they don't know how to act their age because a lot of them are too bitter. Some of them are only showing up in Empress energies because of your age. That's it. Or because they're someone's mother, someone's wife. That's the only reason they're showing up in Empress energies in some of these readings. Outside of that, honey, ain't nothing impressive about these people, these women. They're quite the shame. They're like a shame. They're a sad, sad, sad case of an empress. Disappointment. These are not the kind of people you want to be even associating yourself with. This was trying to come out in the reverse as well. So whatever secret these people have been keeping is absolutely out there. Uh huh. Their rituals are not working. You're not living in fear. Nothing. You're not living in fear. Whatever offer, malicious offer they were trying to give you, you're not accepting it. You're not looking forward to it. You're not anticipating it. You're not waiting for it. You're moving on with your life and healing, recovering. Whatever they did to you in the past, you've healed from it. You've recovered from it. Someone said you healed a little bit too quick. What the ha ha ha? It's a star seed. It's an earth angel. What do you think? That's all they do, honey, is heal. Heal thyself, heal other people, heal the world, heal the planet. Honey, that's what they do. That's what they're made for is to heal. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> it's the pettiness for me. <laughs> okay. Now that the truth is revealed to someone, they're living in fear. They don't know how to move forward with life. They don't know how to view the people around them. They, they, what they are seeing and hearing is just too much for them. Someone thought that they were being loyal to the right person, possibly a king of cups. Now they're realizing this person was lying to them the whole time. Someone is very good at misleading people, manipulating people, presenting themselves in an energy that is just not theirs. Someone was playing victim, basically. 
He said, oh, oh, she did this to me. He did this to me. Oh, 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 he, he stole from me. He left me when I most needed him. She left me when I most needed her. And they're looking at you. You said this person did this to you. They didn't do nothing to you. Matter of fact, you did this to this person. Okay? All someone knows how to do is cause illusions. They may want to now come in to act like they're advocating for you, supporting you, but you know the truth. You're like, uh-uh. Sources that be vigilant. This person has ulterior motives. They've lost a lot. They've lost money. They've lost, they've lost connections, friends, and all kinds of stuff. So now they want to come in and manipulate you, and you just don't need to be part of it. So you've removed yourself from this person's life permanently. They may be trying to come into your energy, but they cannot. They are being blocked. Someone is just too impulsive and lustful, right? They're like, I'm going for it. And sources so say, you can go for it all you want, but you're not getting to where you think you're going. You need to sit down. Sit down, okay? It's like the truth is just being seen by you. It's like, wow, there's someone in here that's saying, wow, this person is strong as heck. They went through all of this mess and they were still classy with how they handle it. You told us this person was toxic. They were a drunk. Someone told people that you party a lot. You go to clubs and stuff like that. Collective, you don't even know where where the nearest club is in your city or your neighborhood. You don't know what it's called, I bet you. You don't even know what club is around the corner. Someone told someone you drink and you probably don't even drink. Or if you drink, it's probably uh, socially or occasionally, some of you. Someone told a whole lot of lies and the lies are catching up. The lies are out there in the open and there's no way for them to hide it anymore. So now someone wants to hide themselves because the manipulation is just not working. Someone is losing their SHIT behind the scenes. They're not able to trap you. They're not able to gaslight you. They're not able to extend some type of foolish offer to you. Make it seem like they're abundant. You know, they want to work with you. Someone doesn't even know if you think of them the same way you used to. Like the genuine nature is just gone. You know how like when you initially meet people and you're very open to them, open-minded, and you extend a genuine olive branch of a friendship to them, but then they reject it. Now they want to come back after the truth is out and you're nowhere to be seen. And this person is realizing you were the only genuine person in their energy. Everyone else, even their family and friends, were facades, were manipulating them, working against them. Someone was working with the enemies the whole time and they didn't know that they were working with the enemy. Okay? Someone was working with the enemy the whole time. The enemies, I'm being corrected to say. Someone was working with the enemies the whole time and did not realize it. But they had their eyes focused on you and said that you were the enemy. So they may have destroyed your past in some way, shape, or form, caused some type of hindrance for you. And now they're living with regret. Because this chapter is more than over, they may not be able to ever reconnect with you because this is a pretty big burden for them to come and tell you, have closure with you. It's what they want to do. They're terrified. They want to come in and have closure with you. But how do you get over that? Someone may have blocked the whole ten of pentacles for you. Or because of he say, she say, hearsay. Okay? So there's the emperor in here that's having a hard time possibly recovering or seeing things from a higher perspective. He's going to have to, if he wants to recover balance back into his life. He's going through some type of ending himself. He could have a relationship that's coming to an end. Maybe he's choosing to go to bring it to an end. There's something going on in here. This emperor is having a hard time self-actualizing. There's something going on with this man's mental. He could be very vain, very superficial, and he thinks that he's able to pay a, an official to interfere with something. It's not going to go the way he plans. It's not going to go the way he plans. Okay? There's too much bribery going in, going on in here. There's too much breadcrumbing going on in here. Just too much going on. Okay? Just, just too much, too much. 
is that whatever you do that you whatever they do you heal from it whatever you they do you heal from it and it's bothering these people they don't know how to shake you up because everything they do even if they knock you down you wake up 10 times stronger than you were before they knock you down and they don't know what to do and they committed themselves to causing conflict they said oh we got to keep this narrative if people find out what we did that's why this moon was coming out in the reverse if people find out what we did we're done what well, the secret is out there's clarity <laughs> people already found out there's a whole investigation going on phone calls are tapped wiretap emails are being ha uh, uh monitor i'm not going to say hack because this is a legal investigation now it's an internal investigation okay the whole time they're invading your privacy theirs are being invaded too except theirs is legal what's going on with them is legal but what they did to you is not you have people in here that have been causing you hindrances but those are temporary hindrances if some of you decided to entertain these people and scoop to their level you can cause them permanent endings they can only cause you temporary problems but you can cause them temporary uh, permanent endings permanent I'm, i mean things they cannot recover from they cannot recover from some of the things you can do to them some of them all you have to do is take them to court and they're done people are playing with magic but they don't understand this is all they know how to do is manipulate and that's what they call magic oh if we get a group of people the whole town to go against them oh that'll show them that nobody wants to be with them nobody wants to be friends with them and the whole time the collective member is that thank you <laughs> like thank you you're telling me you're showing me that everybody in this town is karmic i don't care they said thank you i can stay safe in my bubble thank you this is someone's notion that they keep following you everywhere you go and causing problems and eventually you're just going to give up on life and turn dark uh, it's not so dear it's not so Eventually, what's going to happen is you're following someone throughout life and causing hindrances for them, and they're going to call judgment in your life, and you're going to lose everything, your health, your wealth, your, your, your money, your relationships, your stability, your home, car, everything. That's what's going to help it happen to you. But this star C or collective member, light worker, whoever you're chasing around, they're not going to turn dark. What they're going to do is end up calling judgment in the situation and it's not going to be pretty for you you won't be recovering you're exposed these rituals are not working there's some these people i was going to say some these people are stuck in some type of old paradigm where they're trying to keep something the way it used to be we're in a whole different age some of our elders are stuck to doing things a specific way but they don't have a choice they're gonna have to change and catch up with the times not voluntarily by force they're gonna have to change their ways some of our elders don't want to grow the heck up but they're gonna have to because these are a lot of older energies that are in here doing this immature little girl and little boy stuff Someone in here said, oh, she, he doesn't have respect for us. They don't respect our craft. No, you don't respect yourself. You don't respect yourself. Because at your ripe old, ripe old age, you should not be indulging in this low vibrational activity, this little girl, little boy stuff. So you don't respect yourself. This is what someone said. She has no respect. For us or for our craft or something no dear you don't have respect for yourself you like wisdom all you are is bitter that's what the problem is 
you're bitter and your bitterness has clouded your judgment. That's all you are. Bitterness, insecurity. You're too old to be insecure. You're too old to be this bitter. You're supposed to be learning as you get older, but some people get bitter and bitter and bitter as they get older. Sad and pathetic. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Let me chill. Yeah, someone is free from bondage. Whatever wealth someone was trying to pull over a masculine's head or whoever's head, he don't care no more. He said, you can have that sucker. I don't care. Okay? He does not care. At all. At all. Okay? He does not care. We have 777 here, which is 213 Celebration reunion or new alliances i think this is more so alliances new alliances they say your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose a state of peace and calmness in your soul i am in the flow seven you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes give you a greater awareness than most. I am brilliant. Nine, it's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping and to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service i am compassionate amen to that anyways collective thank you for watching stay blessed and goodbye for now